Welcome everyone to another FPGA goodness here. I continued a little bit because I was so thrilled that this works and you will not believe how this sounds now. So here risk 5 our upstream and modified firmware here with our embedded now running 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz unfortunately mono but whatever listen to this Yep, and unfortunately that is all the um, that is all the <laughs> all the memory I have in the um, ice 40. Um, is that not amazing? This is I'm I'm so thrilled. I did not expect that in in just 24 hours I'm going from can we get some one bit deck running there to this sounds freaking amazing. Not making this up. This is this is hilarious. It's ridiculous. Um, and so what I've done since the last video, and by the way, hope we are live, accident, live and stream, looks live, zero drop frames. Um, yeah, welcome everyone to our DIY tinkering stuff here, more live on this more live channel. Um, so what, what we went from is previous video there on the main, main channel, 8-bit um, and 11 kilohertz now, 16-bit, 44.1 freaking kilohertz. I had to unlock and achieve a couple of things. First of all, I realized, so not only is this now certainly not running over the serial, that over the serial, maybe actually I try the FTDI supports and higher bitrate, maybe, maybe theoretically we can even stream here infinite audio, maybe another day, but uh, also here, this is, uh, goodness, but um, so another thing is, first of all, I had to get this running slightly faster because even bit banging this in uh, into the duck re register the, the pico risk 5 wasn't fast enough and when we benchmark this here run run benchmark was simplistic benchmark i realized so this was not the most fast and i even checked with um, with the authors there with uh, and it turns out so this this is running from the flash. I did not even think about this. So actually, the Pico Risk Five is much faster than I thought because um, Clifford uh, told me, um, Claire Cl Clifford Wolf told me. Uh, by the way, you run from the flash, right? So this is uh, running. If you divide this here, also maybe the other. Oops, the other YouTube. Um, if we divide this here cycles by instructions um, yeah so 12 actually and this is this was faster previously I'm not even sure so the um, so this quad DDR mode and stuff is flash so this also let our code run a little bit faster and additionally if we copy our code like JIT previous video just in time code generation or we just copy it with a mem copy and relocate it or whatever um, this should also run at 4 uh, four clocks per instructions, but that is not even the main. So why does this sound now so amazing? Um, when I switched to just 44.1 kilohertz, it did not yet sound so amazing. First of all, it was running too slow. And the issue is that uh, the slowness, welcome everyone, by the way, um, here's our audio code. So pr in previous code, we had here um, waiting for uh, to, to synchronize the programmed I.O. like writing with a RISC-V core in C. Let me show you the firmware, firmware C. So with some loop we have here as per the previous video for I in, uh, what, this is also 
not the right ah maybe this needs to re reload yeah reload because i edited this with vi darn it i'm not sure we have, have the uh, fontifying here 10 megabyte of <coughs> can't make this up okay this takes too long when freaking emacs um, because we have here this audio file embedded and so deck 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 here um, in this loop for size of audio file and writing here the stack register so this is the c part that compiles down by the compiler to a, a load uh, in this register previous videos risk 5 instructions and architecture so we load here from the flash the from the audio file and then um, store this to the address um, that we previously defined i think it was 40,000 something hex our duck register and this was not fast enough and um, i optimized this i think our emacs is done uh, pre pretty fine and colorizing our hex values so in the previous video there some couple of hours ago i was waiting here for the the bit the duck the duck bit 15 um, to acknowledge the right so if you didn't watch this video maybe you want to watch this so the issue is we need to if we do this in this programmed like bit banging uh, way of writing with the cpu to our dig digital to analog converter um, we have previously seen that the, the speed obviously was out of sync if we do not synchronize this it will run slower faster whatever um, well certain only actually only faster is uh, here of relevance anyway so i changed this now now i have here fifo now we have duck data so in the previous video we only had deck data now we have also deck next so this gives us a one one uh, one word fifo of storage and we have here deck free a new one bit register here and the way this works is that now we can always as long as the deck is free this is next storage space in this fifo first in first out um, if it is free so if selected in deck free we copy it so the cpu does no longer need to wait potentially 15 more bits or something to stream out there this certainly can depending on for example this workload can speed up this by 90 percent or something because we can we have a buffer and we can the cpu can continue executing uh, of of course initially uh, of course optimally we should do this direct memory access here in, and the deck should stream this out themselves but anyway so this certainly a 90 percent performance improvement if you were looking for this so if if free then store it in this deck next and then dex free assign here dex free to zero that next time we would need and acknowledge this ready, uh, ready instantly and the deck i modified previously this wasn't there now this is new that when the deck was the buffer was streamed out then we load the deck data with the deck next this however did not yet improve the um the quality at all because um, this only optimized the the speed and allowing the risk 5 to keep up um, copying as much data as 44.1 16 bit words into the deck output register um, the sound quality was obviously still the same so there if you watch this previous video which by the way the the previous video uh, was so good that it got copyright uh, matched so unfortunately i have to mute this some parts of this video automatically because i certainly don't give to uh, tori amos there all the couple of dollars for that video so why was this still the audio quality not good because um, when we run this here let's run this again of no not x emax of screen um, the issue is that we probably also can theoretically unmute that here uh, and stream here so the issue is um, that this is probably so the issue is that we were streaming this out with 44.1 uh, with this one bit uh, sigma delta modulated i always pronounce this by the way uh, delta sigma should really memorize this by now delta sigma de delta sigma delta sigma modulated and the issue is that we have v v um, in the hearable spectrum this noise this high frequency noise of this nature here of as i could also have zoomed in there of 
um, this noise in terms of um, high frequency stuff that is the, no, this is not what I wanted, I assume this. Um, if you take a look of this, obviously here we modulate this signal and all the high frequency stuff you hear. So the trick of this is not only in the previous video I mentioned noise shaping, I'm actually not yet even doing noise shaping. The only thing this... Um, are you guys even talking? So the, the, the thing is, so what you've pre heard previously in the previous video, all the high pitch frequency stuff is all this high pitch frequency uh, modulation going on here. And I actually was a wanted to repack my stuff, stuff here and call it a day and say, okay, it's good enough. But one line of code seriously made this so much more amazing. And the so one line of code is um, actually this here um, because previously we had here this clock divider where I was telling you the other day 12 megahertz our target frequency 44.1 um, by 16 bit is 17 so previously I have every 17 clocks here of this 12 megahertz clock of the system I was doing nothing 17 70 clocks nothing and then clocking out one bit of this digital um, direct stream digital here of this one bit deck um, delta sigma modulation and then I thought obviously as per the article here always talking about pushing this uh, do they write pushing this quantization noise here up to the uh, in in the inaudible ultrasonic frequencies and um, meaning over 20 kilohertz and I was thinking wait a second uh, what is if I try instead of waiting 17 clock cycles um, for this downscaling this frequency from 12 megahertz what if we if we just pulse this modulates the 17 times faster right I mean instead of just busy waiting and doing nothing does this work by just like streaming the 17 times faster and so what I did here it probably should still be seeable I think I've not yet committed this git diff of audio v yeah so this is the only change here um, that instead of so only like yeah one line of code and I mean, one comment so what I've changed here is from this block to this block instead of every 17 clock divider thing there pulse with modulating this here 17 times faster so we with this simple trick um, making the high pitch frequency noise stuff pushing it 70 times sort of anyway 70 times faster meaning the only thing is I cannot show you this that nicely maybe I actually should have the problem is that the synthesis I showed you now takes 10 minutes or so nearly so uh, let's icebreaker so I cannot show you that easily this code change although maybe I should um, DV icebreaker video stuff this is where I prototyped the other stuff let's iceproc this um, this probably should output some so noise warning this will most likely output some 400 or 800 megahertz tone. Um, do I even let me... sorry for the noise, I hope it's not... oh wait a second, I did not... it's actually not exactly what I expected, let's see what I... I think I, think I tested this in this here or didn't I or maybe I didn't uh, sorry I didn't test this in this one um, anyway I guess you get the idea we could actually you know what for the fun part we could um, resynthesize this anyway it's a pity I didn't pico sock pico vr pico sock if we just change this back um, as it's just this change, the only thing is it takes 10 minutes. While we wait for this synthesis, we can compare how, how much more amazing this is. So again, a uh, factor of 17 times faster pulse with modulation gets rid of most of the high... because um, 
This is, it's modulating so, modulating so much faster that it's so, such high frequency that we just don't hear it anymore. Um, make ice proc. So this will resynthesize all the stuff and this will most likely take something of nearly 10, 10 minutes, unfortunately. I should have kept the binary file, but that's uh, just the nature. So let's see. <coughs> Many comments in the audience. Zero drop frames. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's see. Comments in the audience. Many comments. What did we had here? Pulse audio issue. Stuff was muted. Um, so welcome everyone. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for tuning in. How many people do we have right now watching? At least some. That is very nice. So welcome Christian. Welcome everyone. That a few days ago I installed Hackintosh Mojave and your tweets about disk utility being broken were true. Yeah, um, I told you so. Um, everything is, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not making all this peak box up. Um, welcome, Carlos. Do you already have around something distribution that runs 60 megabyte of RAM? Do you already hear? Um, yeah, they always have been. There was also floppy stuff. I mean, even on my other channel, we had um, x86 running with um, with just 8 megabyte of RAM or something. But yeah, the issue is it's not practical for um, every use. I have even um, T2 builds for ARM and uh, AVR32 with, uh, with even 8 megabyte of or something. So maybe if you're lucky it, it synthesizes in 7 or 8 minutes. Um, so yeah, thanks for asking. We're doing fine. We're certainly totally happy here. Amazing progress with some one bit um, Delta Sigma modulating deck. Totally happy. Much more than I expected. Honestly, I did not expect this to sound so amazing. And basically we could sell this to audio fields with um, calling it some um, direct stream digital amazing um, deck or something. Just decorated with a little bit of gold and cables and, uh, and, and, and vibration dampening whatsoever. And put the appropriate price tag on it and call it a day. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for asking. Let's see. Check Linux run 5 MB megabyte of from what check Glaucus Linux. It's yeah, amazing stuff. Um, what's about Linux LFS style? What, what about mainline Linux LFS style? Um, don't know what this is, but I usually certainly run our T2 on everything. Anyway, you know what? I should actually save this bit. Uh, let's uh, copy icebreaker bin that we don't need to resynthesize this. I hope this is not yet too big up. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, based on dot slash Linux kernel guides enough to run full blown Gen 2. Mm. But yeah, anyway, anything FPGA related, DAC related, you can consider Glaucus an automated LFS inspired distribution based on Musolipsy and Toybox. That sounds amazing. Um, thanks Glaucus uh, for uh, finding the streams amazing. It's uh, also, this is why I did not look, I said in the other stream, I honestly didn't look into the NES emulator. I would, well, maybe if they want some decent audio, maybe they use something similar, but the learning experience, if I would just have copied the code, I would not have learned as much as I learned the last 24 hours. And so for example, like like this, just like modulating it 17 times faster. I mean, obviously this was already um, in the theoretical, uh, text here of uh, all this DSD theory and uh, Delta Sigma modulation, but doing it yourself, seeing it on the scope, and by the way, we have it running right now, right? But anyway, we have this small example running. Uh, by the way, in this example, you see, by the way, how, oops, wrong, um, how this works in theory, although this right now is not the most amazing tone, but uh, where is this like? And then there you see how this works with this capacitor because I also want to trigger that on the other channel, probably. And um, yeah, so there you see how the, the low pass filter at work here with a freaking capacitor and resistor. Um, basically, also, this is right now not the 
uh, example we are right now listening to and waiting for the synthesis, but this is basically the low-pass filter. This is how this works here in the theory of the cheapest form of direct stream digital um, implementation of a um, delta sigma modulation basically pulse with modulating and the low pass filter takes care of uh, integrating that is right um, if I integrating this is this talking about um, the integral anyway of that sort and um, yeah that is why not copying pasting this, although yes, there are other um, examples out there. What do you, you write? Uh, you should use the heap placer, it's like 10 times faster than simulated annealing placer heap. Ah, cool, I should try that. That comes from working with the examples. We can try this as also, yeah, this probably. Mm -hmm. We will try this when it's ready. Um, it's probably only a minute left or so. So, yeah, I certainly learned a lot, not only FPGA, but also, well, all of this theory I knew already, but it's always a difference between you read it once and never built it yourself, and the first time uh, you do something like this. We, by the way, could theoretically run this in parallel. I mean, right now it should only work here. Um, so let's pico sock um, pico r no pico sock. Let's see make file. You're saying next p and r. That would be this one. I also slightly wonder why they have. Um, 13 megahertz in there. Icebreaker bin. Let's see how much faster that is. Z versus Z. If I didn't make a typo. But yeah, that is pretty amazing that the comments are also so useful here, helpful. Um, really nice community that we are building here on these channels. And then, of course, theoretically, FM synthesis, but I cannot put each day as much time into this as I did here this. I was you all right that this indeed was already done. So then let's cancel. And yeah, thanks for that tip. I didn't know that. I already Googled multi-threading. So yeah, that is amazing. Um, make ISP proc. So this theoretically should be. So uh, audio warning. We will have some audio again. And... Um, also, we probably it flashes. Oh, wait a second. Oh, what? Or did, did it touch the fire? Why is it? Uh, anyway, it was so fast. Now, then we can also just let it uh, resynthesize. It probably will flash all of the firmware, which, which theoretically is a little bit wasteful. Maybe I should actually. Yeah, maybe we. Okay, let's. Just because with the. Uh, I'm quite filling the 16 Mbit or what it was, or was it even more? So the huge flash we are filling here completely with the audio files. This is why even the flashing will take some time. Now we let just let it flash. So that's that's audio data certainly. But next we could theoretically not sure how fast the Pico Risk Five is running. If we get an MP3 decoder in there, that would certainly be the next achievement unlocked there. But um, also next will be FM synthesis. But again, I cannot put each time as much as I did the Sunday in this nice little side project of ours. But the nice thing is, of course, that the text mode, maybe one day we make it even sprite based. Um, but the HDMI stuff you can reuse, the audio stuff you can reuse. You, so certainly some really nice uh, documented and even with YouTube tutorial videos here. 
and would be really curious to know if we can get a full mp3 decoder running not sure if the rv32 is fast enough for that especially as we don't have a hardware multiplier and divider so certain certainly one would need to be very careful not to use too many multiplications there um, so what do i do to push, push the 95 uh, 90 3950x uh, X, I always say X. Sorry, 4. Um, 3950X. So, certainly FPGA, but that's not pushing it that much. Um, as you might see here, um, do we still have the synthesis? Here certainly was running only on one core. But otherwise, virtual machines, uh, open source compilation, right? T2, and all this fun stuff. Um, yeah, Christian, this YouTube notifications are really strange. I. I actually um, started this 10 minutes in. I even excused there for having audio setup. Audio setup, by the way, being this. Um, this is this is from the Sony. This 3.5 millimeter jack doesn't fit in there because this has uh, a thread here for the headset, for the headphone. So I had to find uh, some clips and connect it there. Is it even probably not the most visible that is just connected there with some clips because audio feel goodness so let's see so we flashed that um, that should be should it be running so let's first toggle uh, quad DDR mode I'm not sure if uh, need to check this oh, anyway um, so let's see Let's shortly restart this because um, I didn't unmute the audio and so. Ah, by the way, sorry, this is a. No, come on. shouldn't have touched this clip. Um, this, by the way, I don't know, this clip is really shitty on there. It is. So, uh, by the way, there you see, this is the difference. I didn't probably enable this um, quad IO mode. So there you see how much slower the RISC 5 core is running with um, the IO not in this. I'm slightly down so much to touching this live on this channel. I hope that is good enough on there for st stereo. So yeah, that's on GitHub and that obviously was, um, so there you see, this is all the high frequency noise we're talking about and we even somewhat, okay, actually right now it's silent. Um, I should have, um, I should have left it, I, I programmed this too, go too good. Um, I should have left this duck um, idling on uh, on 80, uh, 8000 hex there then it would idle pulse with modulate for 50 percent um, but i actually intentionally programmed it so that i don't get some hearing issue here and set the duck to zero that is why um right now it's actually quite zero um, the issue is if we uh, if we are oh, darn it also should change to this sorry um, if i change this now then unfortunately we will flash another minute um, there but um, let's ice program this um, or Two things. So I hope you hear this um, high pitch frequency stuff, and that is the difference between.
that is the difference between um, moving this 17, like um, having the bitstream generated 17 times faster, basically pushing this all this high frequency noise into inaudible um, ultrasonic harmonics there, 70 times higher, probably somewhat shorter. Anyway, let's ice proc this again. Um, ice proc, so only the. Nah, throw it here. Only this uh, area of. Uh, let me. Oh, wait a second. But yeah, only the FPGA of this goodness. Ah, oh, wait a second, that is the wrong one. Backups it is. And this should have been the backup, hopefully. But anyway, now with this amazing tip there of using this other placer, it is much faster anyway. That is certainly super amazing. Thanks for this. It's the most amazing tip of this week. Uh, huge shout out to that. Um, so on quad IO or quad DDR. And now the version, hopefully, if that is the right backup, 70 times faster, 70 times or so less uh, audible harmonics. The bottom again, the the yellow top, the digital signal pulse was modulated, and the bottom signal, the um, low pass filtered audio. Yeah, amazing stuff. Um, I'm surprised myself that this sounds so good. Um, I did not expect this neither today nor next week. It's amazing. Um, now again, the most next step, well, FM, uh, more storage, MMC card, uh, mouse, keyboard. Um, certainly, yeah, pretty amazing in my opinion. Uh, also main Risk v seriously, and um, totally, I, I, this is what I really call fun. I mean, this is the, basically the most fun I've done since, since a long time. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoy this as much as I do. This is just simply freaking amazing. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. I hope this illustrates uh, very well here this concept of direct stream digital. And by the way, so what this is, I uh, also should have switched direct stream digital. I said this as the other streams. This is basically um, on saving on the Super Audio CD <coughs> or other digital means the output of a um, Delta Sigma um, analog to digital converter. So basically it's just leaving out the step which of PCM um, encoding the output of like basically a parallel um, step of um, this Delta Sigma modulation. And uh, yeah, my opinion, I mean, it's of course, it's hilarious. Um, I mean, it's, it's totally, um, no detard, you're not too late for you. We play it once more because it's just too amazing. Um, welcome back, detard. It's indeed we are mostly there, but one more time because I'm myself so thrilled about the outcome of this one bit FPGA um, Risk Five powered um, deck here. And uh, next also, so next um, again, keyboard mouse frequency uh, modulation and theoretically, you know what, stereo, right? I mean, it's just one pin, even on this tiny 
FPGA board stereo, right? I mean, we already have 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz, like stereo, it's just the second bit, right? So amazing stuff. Yeah, amazing stuff. Um, there, that sounds amazing for a one bit. Uh, yeah, running at um, one bit direct stream digital, running at 12 megahertz now because that is amazing, pushing all the, um, all the modulation, high frequency stuff into uh, inaudible ultrasonic um, range. And um, this um, pulse with modulation here, sorry, did hard also, if you missed all the videos. Um, many more videos, many more details. Um, yeah, one, one, one pin, 12 megahertz pulse with modulation. Um, not an integrated circuit directly here, uh, FPGA implemented for our uh, homebrew RISC V system. Um, sounds totally freaking amazing. Um, yeah, YouTube notifications. I still, I already schedule this here in uh, in, in that sort here, um, and I have no idea. Today, I yesterday the stream I scheduled two hours before I streamed it, uh, also because I had to drive family and folks to the airport. Um, today, I this stream I scheduled ten to fifteen minutes before. I have no idea. I mean, I have the feeling this no notification or this scheduling here helps nothing. I have no idea what it's up with YouTube. Um, this this is driven by the timer now, so the Risk Five core is not fast enough. Probably you want to watch all the other videos. So um, this is fed here by well, it's it's fed with the data. The data is. Um, written over on the system bus, um, the the pin the pin is not directly fed with the risk five because the pin is um, fed here with um, some accumulator. The the pin is actually the carry overflow bit of a 17 bit accumulator here, and um, otherwise the signal wouldn't be stable enough. We we drive it with. Previously, I drove it with uh, how much would this be? So previously, by the way, fun fact: the difference is um, previously I had this. Um, let's quickly calculate this. So uh, um, previously we had 12 megahertz, and oops, 12 megahertz. Oh, one, two, three. So much to pressing insert. So previously we have modulated this with. Uh, 705 kilohertz apparently and now we are modulating this with 12 megahertz directly um, taking care apparently of pushing all the uh, harmonic distortions there to ultrasonic uh, frequencies and um, yeah otherwise we couldn't drive 12 megahertz directly from the RISC-V core um, so that is a fixed, fixed uh, system clock modulation there and the RISC-V writing this here to the memory mapped I.O. system bus here in um, 16 bits at the time into some FIFO. So yeah. Um, so let's see more questions. Know what I mean? The Risk Five course feeding the deck. Yeah. So the Risk Five is feeding uh, the PCM coded samples to the FIFO of this uh, one bit delta sigma modulating deck here and next of course I said this in the previous video already our long-term goal I just wanted today for a quick check pipe this data there I was surprised not only that it worked but also that it sounds so good and now that it sounds audio feel and um, um, of course uh, homebrew stuff here would be to implement some PC Junior OPL2 kind of whatever a couple of um, oscillators here for some good old fashioned uh, sound here that we kind of game logic like Pac-Man, Tetris, Monkey Islands, you name it, running on the RISC-V core and uh, have an 
having all the logic gates of the um, logic gates of the FPGA taking care of running all the frequency modulation in the background to offload this. As you see the risk 5 core, um, I can show it once more. Uh, also, for those who tune in but know the stream gets a little bit out of control, repeating all the details. Um, so also, uh, the risk, if you want to see the performance, I just reset the um, risk 5 core here by pulling it out and in again. And if we just uh, start this, do I have this right now muted? So if we just started, you will even see that running this from the flash, I only found this out today uh, with a nice tip from Clara uh, who wrote here this Pico Risk 5 core and um, ah, Claire, sorry, um, that running this uh, directly from the fresh is actually too slow. So when I just run it after starting it up, because starting it up, it has this in the default mode of not dual quad or quad double data rate for the flash. And um, this way it's running too slow. So running like this, the RISC-V machine code from the flash, it's too slow, um, too few instructions per second to even push 44.1 K samples to the deck. And um, actually right now, which firmware do we even run? Um, so the, the difference of uh, just toggling here quad DDR mode um, is enough to speed this up. Um, how much was it? This actually the speed up is I think ah darn it. The speed up is by the way I think it was 64 and 12. So apparently speed up of five something maybe. And ah, also wrong. I just reset this here with a USB cable. Not only you see this is a real thing, although maybe I should actually, anyway, reset this more on camera. Um, if we flash the previous firmware as a last word, um, for those who tuned in later, I sprog this. Let's see, should it be probably this? Um, this is the difference between pulse with modulating at 750 something kilohertz and 12 megahertz. So 17 times slower. This again, you will hear what I showed already uh, all this harmonics there that um, uh, all this pulse with modulation harmonics. Um, switch to quad DDR and. Just so here is the USB cable to the Pico sock. Uh, just if you were thinking I stream this from another deck. So you see all the harmonics and these go away when we simply, um, as already said multiple times now, if we simply um, pulse this, modulate this uh, 70 times faster, directly at 12 megahertz, all problems solved, at least, at least as far as I can see. Um, so yeah, um, quad mode was six. Probably I should change this to, to start up in, in quad mode anyway, not to.
Yeah, um, I'm, I'm really thrilled. This is really, I did, I really seriously didn't expect this quality to be that good. I mean, this is seriously, really freaking amazing. Um, and uh, proof certainly is a point that, um, I mean, basically I said this in the other video, right? I mean, this, this crystal decks here from the DIY audio build. So basically even this 20 years ago, they operate uh, on the same principle, although not DSD, not direct uh, stream digital. But um, they were like in 1996 or so, these were the best kind of nearly sort of uh, normal, normal money could buy, the best audio feel. Eight, where is it? 18 bit? Yeah, eight, this were 18 bit, um, 18 bit, 48 kilohertz. And they costed, I think, was it like 50 Deutschmark a piece or so? I mean, nowadays 25 euro plus inflation, but I mean, they were freaking expensive. It's the more set it is that I have so many defect ones of. Uh, CS 43, 28 or something. Anyway, so these and many others nowadays, all these decks operate on this principle of uh, one bit um, delta sigma modulation. Um, a question was more memory. So yeah, we could attach more memory and flash. Um, memory is actually yeah, 128K, not too little, um, plus our video memory. Um, and um, what you're saying, big background, I wonder if it could design intro or on the FPGA stream videos using this music, if you could design intro or outro. I mean, what do you mean with OPL like FM synthesis or also uh, Detart asked uh, Minix, so more memory. Yeah, so we could attach more memory. Aston even has PMODs for that. Um, I saw the other day on Twitter that even as we speak, he is designing a new one. Um, uh, dual flash, dual memory or so. Um, although this will not be directly connected to the system bus, right? I think, at least I think this would be um, some other address range like Amiga fast and slow memory or whatever. Um, also questions, so Minix, I mean, first of all, we will soon do our own microkernel stuff here on this and the other channel, but um, you could simply take a, a larger FPGA, right, if you wanted to. So, um, the, of course, the Pico RV32 is not the only FPGA soft core design. There are also others. And um, you could, of course, with a larger FPGA even run Linux on an FPGA. No problem, just that I personally don't right now have a larger FPGA. Um, although I think the larger, the 8000 gate um, ice uh, ice 45k something with five uh, with 8000 logic gates has less memory right so but of course there are many many others but anyway it's also nice to work in this uh, resource constraint um, um, environment and of course not only do we learn uh, really a lot I really uh, I wouldn't do this actually probably for the most part if it would not be fun for myself and we can just remove um, your reuses, right? I mean, not only is this really nice read, I mean, the, the whole duck is just like basically all of this, even minus this, this is even output I square S, I said this before. So basically the deck is only this and like this, everything else is just glue, surround, module and interfacing it with the system bus. So system bus is this, MMIO system bus, if you have this freestanding without the system bus, but you could just connect this also to any other module if you're doing an Amiga uh, PS1 or whatever FPGA design just takes this core. Yeah, I'm certainly totally thrilled that this sounds so fantastic, that this was faster. I have the feeling this OPL stuff will be much slower. I'm not even sure. I will in the next weeks also do other stuff. So I hope you are also interested in other stuff because I cannot do FPGA stuff each and every day. So continuing with keyboard mouse and other stuff will take um, another day, but eventually step by step um, later this year, we will have a full homebrew system because why not? And um, yeah, some OPL. So as I said in the very early stream, so next would be some envelope generation and phase generation for this OPL FM uh, synthesis. And uh, this will be certainly much more work, but at least we have already a high fidelity deck running there. And yeah. Um, Thanks for watching. I hope I, I, it's nice to see that you are as thrilled as I am. Um, as an outro, we can watch, listen to this music again. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and um, 
hope to see you soon for six videos and for those who are new to this channel or um, again there are two channels the more main channel the more random life channel and a couple of handful of more videos of this goodness there if you are interested in this kind of things not only fpga also video right now we have even the uh, vga stuff running concurrently there on the other 500 logic elements for hdmi text mode so uh, even yeah making nice progress here Oh, I slight mistake of not having this audio open there, so Thank you.